Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing well. In my last video I have shown you how you can exactly install and use Ubuntu into Windows 10 or Windows 11. So continuing that in today's video I'm going to show you how you can exactly do that with Mac OS Catalina. So without further ado let's get started. So first of all we have to download some files and applications. So the number one is download the VirtualBox. To do that, open up your Chrome browser and go to virtualbox.org. From here download the VirtualBox 6.1.38, the Windows version. And after downloading it, just go through the instruction process. And the second number is download the VirtualBox extension file. And if you scroll down here a little bit, you can find it right here. So just click on it and it will be downloaded. So after that we have to download the macOS Catalina ISO file. So for that I have already given a link in the description below you can just download it right from there. Or you can just go to any website that provides a free ISO file for macOS Catalina. So now we have to match our PC with the minimum system requirements of the macOS Catalina. For that again go to Google and search for macOS Catalina minimum system requirements. And you can see here there are a bunch of system requirements we need. So first of all we don't care about the OS here. Uh, we care about the memory and the physical hard drive. So it will need at least 4 GB of memory. And I think in modern laptops and PC has already 4 GB of RAM. So that shouldn't be a problem. And after that we will need at least 12.5 GB of available storage on the physical hard drive. But I would again suggest you to go up like 60 or 80 GB of free storage. So after that we can just close our chrome browser. So now let's open up our VirtualBox. So after opening VirtualBox select tools and click on preferences. From here let's go to extensions and I have already installed the VirtualBox extension file. So let me show you again so click on this add button and from the download folder or any other folder that you have downloaded the extension file. Go to that folder and select the extension file and click on open. And it asks me to install it again so I'm gonna click on reinstall and scroll down here and click on agree. So yes. And our extension file is installed successfully. So click on ok. And ok. So now we have to create a virtual machine here. To do that click on this new button. And if you have seen my last video that I have shown you that there is actually two modes here, one is the guided mode which is this one and one is the expert mode. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you the expert mode. So here you have to give the name of a virtual machine so I'm gonna give it like macOS Catalina and VirtualBox will automatically select the type and the version. But if it doesn't do that you can just go to this drop down menu and select Mac OS X and in the version choose Mac OS 64 bit. And in the memory the minimum system requirements is 4 GB but I'm gonna give it like 6.1. So that's it. And in the hard disk click on create a virtual hard disk now. And click on create. Here in the file location I would not recommend you to mess with this thing. And in the file size I would recommend you go up to like 60 or 80 GB. And in the hard disk file type click on VMDK. Which is virtual machine disk. Click on that. And in the storage on physical hard drive, click on dynamically allocated and click on create. So our virtual machine is created here. So select the virtual machine and go to settings. In the settings window, let's move to system tab. So here in the base memory, we have already given the memory size here. So let's change the chipset here. So in the chipset drop down menu, click on this PIIX3, click on that. And in the processors give it at least 2 CPUs. And after that let's move to display settings. And here in the video memory go all the way up to 128MB. And here you have to change the graphics controller. So you can rather choose the VBOX VGA or VMS VGA. So click on the VBOX VGA for this tutorial. And let's move to storage setting. So in the storage click on this empty. And click on this disk icon. From here you have to choose the macOS Catalina ISO file. So move to that folder or that drive and select your ISO file from here and click on open. After that 
click on this controller setup and click on this add button so click on this add button again so now we have to add the VirtualBox boot image file so for that again I have given a link in the description below you can just download it right from there so let me just cancel it here and let's go to our file manager and you can see it I have already given this link in the description below so I'm gonna minimize it here and click on this add button again and let's move to that folder and select our VirtualBox boot image file and click on open and select the boot image file and click on choose so after that just click on ok and that's it and there's one more thing you can change in the settings is that the USB controller so go to the USB settings here and you can choose the USB 3.0 or USB 2.0 so for this tutorial I'm gonna use the USB 3.0 so click on that and click on ok and that's it but we can't just install our Mac OS Catalina just like that we actually have to run some commands in the CMD so for now let's close our virtual box I have already given a link in the description below to download these two files this one is the main commands and this one is the screen resolution commands so let's first of all open our main commands so in this Catalina name you have to replace it with the virtual machine name which in this case is Mac OS Catalina 2 so I'm gonna select this name here and go to edit and click on replace and here I'm gonna change my replace name with Mac OS Catalina 2 and make sure that you have given the right spelling here and click on replace to replace all after that you can just close this window and you actually have to do this because without this you can't just install Mac OS Catalina so now let's open our CMD and make sure to open CMD as an administrator so in the CMD copy this line I mean this first command and paste it here it's just gonna change the directory of the CMD and after that just copy everything here I mean without the first line and paste it here and after that we can just close our CMD and this command file so again let's open up our virtual box so in the virtual box now we're ready to install our Mac OS Catalina so select the virtual machine and click on start now you can see that some text are coming up here so don't worry about that it's totally normal now you can see that our apple logo has finally popped up here and here is our mac os catalina installation interface so you can just close these options that are coming in the top of mac os catalina in this virtual machine so here in the language select English and click on next I mean click on this arrow the insertion process will actually depend on your CPU and your memory size so in my case as you know I have i3 processor so it will take much time for me than you so here in the Mac OS utilities click on disk utility and click on continue and here in the disk utility select VBOX hard drive media click on that and click on erase and here give it a name after that click on erase and it will just actually erase the virtual hard drive here so click on done after that click on this x arrow here in the left side and click on install mac os click on that and click on continue and here again click on continue so here in the software license agreement i would recommend you read everything here and click on agree again agree and here click on this hard drive we have just created and click on install now it will take some time to install mac os catalina virtually in your pc and by the way guys if you have ever used mac os catalina or any other mac os you can just comment down below what was your experience now after some time it will reboot itself so don't worry about that So here in the welcome window select your country and click on continue and after that again click on continue and again continue 
and from here in the transfer information to this Mac, I would recommend you choose the third option which is don't transfer my information now. After selecting that, click on continue. So here you can sign in with your Apple ID if you have one but if you don't have any you can just click on set up later. So click on skip. And here in the terms and conditions click on agree. And again agree. And here you have to give your name here. So I'm gonna give my name. And in the password I would recommend you to give a strong password. And there is actually a hint you can just give it if you want. So in my case I'm not gonna give it. So after that just click on continue. So again click on continue. Again continue. And in the screen time you can set up later but in my case I'm gonna just click on continue. And here in the Siri you can enable it but I'm not a great fan of Siri so I'm gonna disable it here. And click on continue. Here you can choose your look whether you want a light theme or a dark theme. So I personally like the dark theme but for tutorial purpose I'm gonna go with the light theme. So after that you will get this kind of pop up which says to choose your keyboard so I'm gonna go with the continue. And just follow the instructions here and it will actually identify your keyboard. So it says I have my ANSI keyboard which is United States and others. So just click on done. And here is your Mac OS Catalina inside Windows 10 or Windows 11. That is awesome. And again there's a problem that is if I maximize this window, this is not maximized. Well to fix that we have to open up our CMD again and run some commands over there. So for now I'm gonna close our Mac OS Catalina right here. Just click on this X arrow and click on power of the machine. So after that we have to run our this commands which is the screen resolution command. And again in the Catalina name we have to replace with our virtual machine name. Which in this case is Mac OS Catalina 2. And make sure to give it the right spelling. After that open up your CMD as an administrator and click on yes. And from here copy this line which is going to change the directory and paste it out there. Click on enter. And after that you can copy this line and paste it out there. But if you have a 4K resolution display you can just replace this 1920 by 1080 with the 3840 by 2160. So my display is actually HD Full HD which is 1080p so I'm going to copy this line and paste it out there. And click on enter. And that's it. You can just close this CMD and this command file. After that again open up our VirtualBox and run our Mac OS Catalina again. And you will see that it will maximize this whole window. So as you can see our virtual machine has already maximized with 1920 by 1080. It always actually takes some time to reboot itself so don't worry about it, it's totally normal. So after that you have to sign in with your uh, password here. So I'm gonna give my password. And click on enter. And here is your Mac OS Catalina inside Windows 10 or Windows 11. But you can see those bars on the top, on the bottom and on the right side. Well to fix that, on your keyboard just press the right control and F. And click on switch. And this is your final maximized window. And if you see here updates available you can do it but in my case I'm gonna do that later so I'm gonna click on like try tonight that's it. You can use your finder from here you can use your uh, this launch pad you can use any kind of application from here you can use the ITV or the iPod you can use any features of Mac OS Catalina inside this virtual machine. So just I'm gonna click on this uh, Apple icon here and click on system preferences. And you can literally change any kinds of setting right from here. You can change your internet settings, your printers, your keyboard, your mouse and displays. If you have multiple displays you can just connect it. So you can also enable your spotlight right from here. So I'm gonna minimize it right here. So let me show you how you can exactly create a folder in the Mac OS Catalina. So on the desktop just right click on that and click on new folder. And that's it your new folder is created. And if you wonder how you can exactly get access to your Apple Store. In the taskbar just click on this app store button 
and here click on continue and you can install any kinds of software from here like in my case I'm gonna use the Microsoft Word so click on get to install it and click on install again and here you actually have to add your Apple ID so I don't have Apple ID here so you can just create one but for now I'm not gonna do anything here so I'm gonna cancel it so yeah that's how you can easily install any kinds of software in the Mac OS Catalina and you can use it as long as you want so that's for today's video guys if you find this video helpful then make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe my channel and press the notification bell to get interesting videos like this my name is Simon and I will see you in the next one